grooming groups and whatnot um, about, you know, how long does it take you for a small, basic small dog grooming. Um, and so, obviously she's already been bathed and blow dried and brushed. You're welcome to add 15 minutes to this video if you like for that part. Um, but I tell most people, because I'm mobile now, um, it is a little different in a shop. Um, because you don't really think about how much time it takes you to do a grooming because you're kind of doing more of an assembly line kind of thing where you know maybe even somebody else is bathing and brushing and doing all that kind of thing for you so um, what we're going to do today is we're going to groom Nikki in a basic same length all over with a little teddy bear head trim um, and uh, we're going to see how long that takes us um, because I've had people before say oh well you know, if you do it in 30 minutes or 45 minutes total, then, you know, it's not a very good haircut, well, yada, yada, yada. Um, there are ways to cut corners and do all kinds of stuff like that. And so she's been bathed and brushed. And, oh, well, I did do her, uh, did I do her nails? I don't remember. I did not do her nails because they don't need to be done. She doesn't grow nails really fast. So um, if you want to start your timer now, uh, you know, and, and figure out how long this is going to take me, um, yes, I do use a clipper vac. Um, however, this can be done without a clipper vac. Um, you may want to, you know, maybe add 10 minutes or something if you want to. Um, but I know, I know people that groom way faster than I do, and um, I guarantee you this finish work is going to take me less than 30 minutes. Um, even with this combing and prep work, I haven't done her pads of her feet or anything like that. So, if you wanted to start from the time I started combing, that's fine. Uh, so I'm going to do all of her hygiene stuff and everything in 30 minutes or less. Now, of course, you know, this is a, this is a well-behaved dog. Um, she's an ex-show dog. Uh, she used to be, she used to do junior handling with my daughter. She used to be shown, so she's very patient. She's older. We just keep her in this cute little teddy trim now. Um, but the point of this video is, you know, how fast can we do this and still have it look really nice. So for, for groomers, um, I just want to show you that it is possible to get this done. And so it will be a total of 45 minutes or less for a small dog. Um, obviously for, you know, bigger dogs, it's going to take a longer amount of time, etc., etc. But um, that was that was kind of the the little bit of a, a running argument there was on several groups and I've seen it several times about how fast can you do a full grooming so um, despite the fact that we didn't do the bathing and drying on the video because you know that's just loud and takes too long and all that kind of thing I guess at some point if you really like me to we could do that and then do like a time-lapse photography thing or something so you don't have to listen to all the all the dryer noise and all that kind of thing but the haircut part is going to take me 30 minutes or less um, I haven't timed myself in forever so it, it may be only 20 minutes I don't know all the prep work I do I shave un in front of the ears because I don't pluck ears so I shave all this hair out because if you don't sometimes it gets they get itchy um, I don't want to, uh, I'm not going to argue about why I don't pluck ears, but I'm going to tell you right now, if I pluck my poodle's ears, they get ear infections, so I don't. Um, I know that's another bone of contention, it's something we could talk about at another point in time, but suffice it to say, that's why I'm shaving just a little bit in front of the ear to keep that extra hair from tickling them and then they scratch it. Alright, so... I like Miss Nikki in like a one comb, which is also a five eighths comb. Um, I don't like her to be too short because she's an old lady and she's starting to lose some coat density. But I like her nice and short so that I don't have to give her a haircut like, you know, twice a month. I think this is this this coat growth is probably about eight weeks I think six or eight weeks something like that so um, we have clients um, I have a few that are eight weeks because I'm mobile but I mean obviously when I had my salon um, I had people that would go longer um, and 
and this, their dog would be a disaster. You know, we're not talking about that. We're talking about a, a fairly well-maintained dog that at least, you know, the owners are giving a bath and brushing or what have you. Those little unicorn clients you have. Um, and I'm even going to go over her twice just to make sure that I've got all the hairs. And that way, if you, if you don't have a clipper back, you know, you can't say it was because I have a clipper back. I'm going to go over it twice and include that in the time. Now, obviously, this is the same length all over haircut, so I'm doing the same length on her legs and everything. I'm just going to leave her little head a little bit longer. And I like to do up in between here a little bit. I like to go backwards because this is where they're going to get knots if they're going to get them is right in that chest area, especially if they don't have any chest. If it's up in their armpits and stuff. So, and yes, I'm going to include the finished work in this. It's all going to be done in 30 minutes or less. At this point right now, I'm thinking it's going to be about 20 minutes total for the actual haircut portion. And then I generally, generally say the rule of thumb when you're grooming is, you know, unless you've got a show dog, a show poodle or show cocker, and cockers have thick coats too, so they don't count. But generally the rule of thumb is however long it takes you to do the haircut, that's how long it takes you to bathe and dry them as well. So if it takes me 15 minutes to do the haircut, that's about how long it took me to bathe her and dry her. Uh, comb her out to get her ready for the haircut part. And something else that a lot of people are always worried about, like with these with these clipper combs, you can go backwards and it really doesn't make it any shorter. It does with blades, but with clipper combs, it doesn't seem to really do it a whole lot shorter. So you can actually clean it all up and have literally no scissor work to do if you just take your comb and skim it out backwards. And there's just, there's real, there's literally almost nothing to do except for around the feet and whatnot. And you can even go up their legs like this. I do that a lot on my older dogs because I don't want to have to make them stand while I try to scissor them. So I do that a lot. Um, if I have dogs that are, you know, worried, I'm worried about picking their feet up and stuff because they're getting older like her, um, I just go backwards because it makes it a little, you're going to make that bottom a little bit shorter anyway when you scissor it because you can't get that, whether, whether it's a blade or a comb, always the bottom of the leg is going to require some finish work. Unless it's a really old dog and you're just like doing the best you can and trying to get through it then it is what it is at that point. But you can go backwards and clean it all up. Especially if you have a clipper back. It can be done without the clipper back. It's just a little faster and easier. Everything's faster and easier with the clipper back. But it's just a little bit faster and easier when you do have a clipper back. You can clean all of that stuff up and it's perfectly even. Did. She has a little mole right here, so she's got a shave spot. I just I like to shave around it and, and keep it clean because it gets that goo goo on it, and then she scratches it. And I just you know I'm not particularly picky about what she looks like anymore. I just want her to be cute and happy and comfortable at this age because she's 10 and she's had her puppies and she's retired couch potato now. So that's pretty much the whole body and the legs and everything. How much time is that, William? Uh, we get back to your time, aren't we? Ten minutes, maybe? Uh, four minutes and 41 seconds. Really? 
Okay. Okay. So oh, no. Oh, oh. Boy, it's not. Okay. So it's eight minutes. And okay. That's what I thought. Really under eight minutes. Okay. So body. under eight minutes, all the body and everything is done. But that's with uh, the wide clipper comb. Yeah, right? with the that's wide clipper really comb. Wide. So maybe if you're using regular combs, you could add a couple of minutes, I guess. I'm not really sure. We can do that. We can experiment with that, too. Um, and then what I like to do with her little face, um, because again, she's getting older and if I shave her face with, um, sorry, if I shave her face, she's trying to go see daddy. Um, if I shave her face with like a, a, a 30 or a 40, like we used to when she was showing, um, she scratches that mold. And so, well, that's not gonna work. That's the one I put up there earlier. Okay. Um, she uh, she scratches that mole, and so I don't I, I don't really want her doing that because I got her. I got her. I'm used to working alone. Um, because you know it just then I gotta put the cone on her because she's scratched a hot spot, etc., cetera, etc. Cetera. So I take my five blade. And I just skim right along like that. I've had people tell me, you can't do that. You're going to cut their lips. Blah, blah, blah. Well, here's the proof. This is a five. So it, it keeps a lot of the hair from around her mouth. And it's still kind of poodleish, And it's still kind of cute. But I don't have to deal with her getting her we feed raw diet. So I don't, I don't want all that food and stuff stuck in her face. Um, and it keeps it cute and short, but even if she scratches a little bit, she's not going to make a hot spot because there's not really um, enough skin for her to get one started. She's the one that's notorious for that. Yeah. So that's what we do now that she's an old lady. So yes, you can use a five on the, you can use a seven on the face if you're experienced and you're careful. If you're not experienced and you're not careful, then don't go about doing that until you've talked to somebody or had somebody help you and show you how to do it. And then I prefer her to have like kind of like this cute little teddy bearish kind of head again. To you, um, I got a not too question. much to brush out and comb and whatnot. Yes. Yes, I teach all of this. All of, everything I teach online, I teach in hands-on classes. So this is, um, I'm going to take an A comb to her head, which is a three quarters of an inch. And now I'm just going to zap that off. This is, this is quick and easy salon grooming. And really all I'm doing right now is just saving myself some time because I don't really want her to have a top knot that I have to trim. Etc. Etc. She'll get a bath like usually every couple of weeks. I give her a bath and a brush out, um, and that keeps her nice. But it makes it so that she doesn't have to do a huge amount of grooming, grooming because she's an old lady, and that's uh, more of what we generally run into you know in our salon or in our mobile or whatever is somebody that's you know every six weeks every eight weeks you know if we're lucky we got a lot of clients that are every four which is awesome um and fantastic and then this is my poodle fluffing comb which is my fabulous comb from just use that on pretty much everything because it gets everything out okay I'm just gonna go right along the edge here like we would if, if it was a top knot clean all that up blend this shorter five line into the body a little poodle neck just kind of blend the sides in so when it grows it doesn't go and stick out Super easy, just blend those longer lines into the shorter ones. And right down the side like I would if she was getting a top knot on this side. And then comb all this forward. And yes, I am that person. 
You don't leave her shelf over her eyes anymore because, again, like I just already said, she's an old lady and she rubs her face and I don't want all that mess in her eyeballs. And I'm beginning to understand my clients that say that, even though it's aesthetically not pleasing to me. I'm starting to understand why they want that. And Over why do you the think ear. they're wanting that? Well, because the hair grows a little bit and it hangs in their eyes and then they rub their face and it gets in their eyes and, gotcha. you know, they're only getting a haircut. Like, you know, when I'm doing my show dogs, they're getting bathed every week and so I'm going to find anything sticking out like that. But for my client's dogs, you know, I'm not coming back for a month or six weeks and, you know, they're afraid to get those scissors out and I don't really want them to because people have seen <laughs> that before. Um, so I'm starting to understand, you know, I'm the last, you know, five to ten years I've really started to understand why my clients say that and you know what, it's their dog, they can have it however they want as long as it doesn't make me look like, you know, a horrible groomer, I don't care. Like I'm not putting hula skirts on on schnauzers and um, you know, I'm not, I mean, I'll shave a schnauzer down in a heartbeat, but I'm not putting the wrong pattern on it or anything like that because I feel like that detracts from my education. Um, but if they just want it shorter or they just want, you know, they want a shorter beard on their schnauzer or whatever, as long as it's set in the right place, I don't really care. Um, that, none of that stuff bothers me anymore. It used to like irk me because I thought, oh, that's going to look horrible and I don't really want to do that and yada, yada, yada. But this is a little short, flat top knot. So she doesn't have to get groomed a whole ton. And I, that, that growth on her that I just did was a lot just so we could do this video. Because normally I just zap all this hair off real quick um, about every you know six weeks or so and then she doesn't get that hairy and I think her ears are okay if I cut them too short then they go moing and stick up and I don't like that but I do keep them as you can see I keep them really short so if you want to if you want to add a minute to the time for trimming ears you can that's completely up to you how you take this video. So her little head is already done. This cute little old lady trim. Yeah. Lower her down just a little bit. Okay. Alright, and then we're just going to do the bottoms of her feet and clean up anything like in her armpits that's too long that's going to make a mat later. Take all that stuff out. Push around the bottom of the foot. And this is that bevel foot like I'm always talking about. Just go around the outside edge. You can pull this stuff through. If you can't see it, I'll be doing the other feet in just a minute. This is this video is all about how fast are we doing this. So clean up the bottom. Now, if you're a newer groomer you've only been grooming, I don't know, a year or two years or whatever, and you can't do it this fast, that's okay. That's just because you've only been grooming for a year or two or whatever, um, or you've only been doing it part-time for five years. This, this kind of speed and accuracy in grooming only comes for practice. It doesn't just show up. This is something that you know, again, I'm, I'm familiar with this dog. I'm familiar with her even if she wasn't mine. If she was a customer's, I would be familiar with her because I'd be grooming her on a regular basis. So I know what to do first and what routine we're doing and all of that kind of thing. 
and this is again this is a well-maintained dog with not really any I think she had a couple of tangles around her neck um, where her little natural flea collar thing goes um, but that was it so um, this can be this this whole entire groom if I was just concentrating on just grooming her would be 45 minutes or less, including the bath and the blow dry. What's our time right now? Uh, 18. Yeah. So I'm gonna be done with her in probably about five more minutes at the most. So we're gonna be right at like the 25 minute mark for the actual haircut. is definitely doable so then you add on your time like I said for bathing and drying and again if you guys insist that you want it I will be more than glad to add a bathing and blow drying part to see how long that takes but I'm mobile and I do everything straight through so I'm pretty confident um, that that was about 15 minutes and I don't like a poodle tail on her anymore either. We do like this little terrier tail. It's really short and flat on the back. And then we scissor it up into this little fat kind of carrot tail thing. Because again, we don't want to have to worry about the band and the placement and all that stuff because she's an old lady. This is a good option for your clients that have older poodles. Um, you know, it takes it takes less time. There's less there's less worry about you know where we're gonna put this and how's that you know this band and all that kind of thing. It seems like trivial, but when you're talking about an older dog like this, you know, ten minutes can make a difference in in the rest of their day and in how they feel if they're getting arthritis and stuff like that. So generally. Um, by the time they get this age or a little older, you know, depending on the dog, I've already recommended, you know, no more poodle feet, especially if it starts to hurt them and they start getting, um, they start getting snippy about it. She didn't, but I just started feeling like when I was doing her feet, like she was really tight and, you know, she would, she started pulling her feet away from me and that kind of thing. And I'm like, you know what, it's just not, it's not worth it anymore. So. I stopped doing poodle feet on her and start doing these cute little double teddy bear feet and she's happier and I'm happier because I don't have to struggle with her and I just I just feel like you know I'm getting arthritis in my hands and I can only imagine what it would feel like if somebody was trying to pry my fingers apart and put something in between there and I didn't understand it so I've got two older ones that I don't do their feet anymore at all. So no poodle feet. Um, if I had to guess um, right now, I would say poodle feet take me about 10 minutes for all four on a toy, five to 10 minutes. Excuse my sniffling, I'm having a little allergy attack there. Um, I think I forgot to take my allergy nights this morning. Um, so I would say if I was doing poodle feet, I would add 10 minutes, uh, just, you know, as a, as a guess on the toy. Obviously a mini or a standard is going to be, you know, a little bit more. And then also depending upon how long you've been doing this and how fast you are. Um, but this, this should be like your, you know, your basic haircut on any small dog. You know, because Shih Tzu's in that, normally you're not shaving poodle feet on them either. So I just figured this was a good example of this small little dog haircut takes, see she's pulling her feet, she didn't ever used to do that. Um, this is a good example of a small dog haircut with a teddy bear head. Um, if you were doing a full scissored teddy bear head, you know, you could add a couple more minutes or you know whatever however long and those are other things we could do too but again this is a little poodle with teddy bear feet and a not fully shaved face and a little short top knot 
and you know we could all pick at all this forever and find little hairs and all kinds of stuff to, to fart with. Hey, man. Look at you. Um, but I would send that out of my shop. Cute little haircut. Done. Nice. However long that was. How long was that, Mr. Will? 23, 30? 23, 23, 23, 23 minutes, minutes. Um, yeah. for a small dog haircut. So again, like I said, if you were adding uh, poodle feet or a uh, a scissored teddy bear head I would add you know maybe 10-15 minutes to that plus your bath and blow dry so again there it is 45 minutes or less a small basic dog grooming thanks a bunch have a great day